Hello everybody, it's Pavu and welcome back to Doodle Creatures, the game where we combine genes with animals in order to create new animals. So according to this we are 66% of the way through, which means we are as close to two thirds as you can get. And I have a list of suggestions that people have put in the comments and I'm going to give them a go and see how well they work. So we'll get straight in, we'll click play. And the first three suggestions are from Philippe. And they are lion and swimming. And once again, I'm going to try guess what they are uh, before I put them in. And some of these suggestions might not work. So uh, lion and swimming. Uh, let's just find the lion first. We have the lion here. Um, I honestly have no idea what that would give us. But let's give it a go. So lion and swimming. Hmm, some sort of, of cat that likes water. I don't know, is that even possible? No, that's that's not one. Okay, then we've got elephant and swimming. And I think that, that might be one that might give us like a manatee or something, or a hippo. Uh, so the elephant is, which one's the elephant in? I can't see. Uh, is it in this one? It is, so elephant and, we've already got a hippo though. Um, but we'll give it a go. Elephant and swimming. And that gives us, yeah. Oh, that gives us a walrus. Okay. The weight of an adult walrus can reach 1,700 kilograms, which is more than the weight of a Volkswagen Golf. I didn't realise they were so heavy. Have I even... Mm, I'm trying to think whether I've ever seen a walrus. I don't think I have. And I, I didn't realise they were that heavy. That is crazy. Oh, we've got to empty our scanners. So I don't, I don't remember what we were scanning, uh, but we'll go ahead and we'll scan the walrus. That has three things in it. And the last suggestion from Philippe is horse and long neck. And I think that that will be a giraffe. Do we actually have the horse? I don't remember if we discovered the horse or not. Um, I don't think we. I don't think we did. I'm sure the horse is meant to be in this one, but we don't have the horse yet. Um, so I don't know how we're going to go about doing that, but uh, horse and long neck definitely sounds like it would be a giraffe, but unfortunately I don't have the horse, so I don't know how to do that. And on to the next suggestions from Ivolution, and the first one of those is lion and flying, and I think that that might be a griffin, like a, one of the mythical creatures. Uh, I think we, we've already got a griffin, so I'm just going to do it again. I think... Um, that's why I remember what that combination is. Uh, but lying, uh, lion and flying. Yeah, that gives us griffin. So mythical wind creatures with a body of a head, uh, a body of a lion and the head of an eagle. And we'll see what the walrus gave us. It gave us big and it gave us that predator and swimming. And I guess we'll go ahead and we'll scan, scan it again, we'll scan it again. Okay, the next one is horse and flying. And I think that might be um, like a Pegasus, we'll, we'll, we'll see, but we don't have a horse, ah, so we can't do that. Uh, we have a unicorn though, how do we make the unicorn? I don't remember. I'm just checking everything again. So we have a unicorn, how did we make that? I don't remember, I have no idea. <laughs> Oh well, um, so we can't do that one because we don't have the horse. I, I swear we did though, I might just be going crazy. I don't understand. Um, but the next one we'll get onto is bull and big. And do we even have the bull? Because <laughs> I don't think we have that either. Uh, we, have the, we have a bull and we have a ram. Um, we, don't, we don't seem to have a bull so we can't do that. But the next one that we can do is Lion and Poisonous, and I think that might be another one of the uh, failed ones again, because I can't think of anything, unless, mm, I was going to say like a, a saber tooth, but they're not Poisonous, but we'll give this a go, so uh, Poisonous down here, oh it has given us something, a manticore, oh, okay, a mythical creature. So a manticore is a fictitious creature and monster with the size of a, the size of a horse with a human head, a lion's body and a scorpion's tail. 
So we've got something the size of a horse, but we haven't got a horse yet. But that, that looks like a jigsaw of <laughs> many different things put together. Um, so we'll take the walrus genes out. And we'll add in the manticore. And that has four genes. Okay, the next one, also from iVolution, is snake and big. And I think... Uh, if I can find a snake... I think that when we did that, it gave us the anaconda. But I'm just going to double check. Snake and big. Uh, yes. Anacondas can grow up to be 6 meters long, though there have been reports of anacondas that grew up to be 9 to 10 meters long. Okay, and the next one that we've got is from Shari. Shari, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce, can't pronounce these names. They're not names I'm used to, so I'm sorry. Um, it, and that is just flying and squirrel. And I like your, your thought process there, because that is very simple. I don't know why we haven't tried that before. Uh, but I think that will give us a flying squirrel so let's give that a go uh, if I come flying again where is it uh, yeah flying and it did you are you are spot on there flying squirrels can glide for up to 50 to 60 meters and look at that I find flying squirrels so funny I don't know why <laughs> they just they just are they just are to me the, the whole concept of them uh, so we'll take these genes out and we'll put the flying squirrel genes in and the last suggestion that I have is from Andre or Andres um, which is unicorn and flying and that was similar to the horse and flying earlier I think that might give us a pegasus so let's give that a go uh, unicorn and flying ah oh, that didn't give us anything that's a shame I so thought that was gonna work um, but okay so we'll get on to uh, the things I want to attempt now and these are all animals and creatures that are going to be in uh, this category up here we, we currently have a spider and we're going to start with a spider and we're going to mix spider and poisonous and I think that's going to give us um, a type of spider but I'm not quite sure what that will give us so we're going to drop it on poisonous over here Oh, and it made a Black Widow. So, until 2010, Black Widows were considered to be the most poisonous spiders in the world. Later, they were su uh, supplanted by the Brazilian Wandering Spider. And I think that means they just, their numbers were um, taken over, basically. And I remember, well, I live in England, and I remember I was in the garden once, and I was like, moving some leaves and I was positive that I saw a black widow spider and I don't understand why because we don't have anything like that in uh, the UK and then a couple of years later I found out that in the UK there is a type of spider um, I can't remember what it's called uh, but it mimics the like the patterns of a black widow so that animals think uh, that what they are seeing is a black widow and I can't quite remember what the spider is called it might just be called like the mimicking spider or something I don't know but that must have been what I what I saw but I was so scared because <laughs> not only was it a spider but it, it looked like a black widow uh, okay so yes we will uh, scan this and we'll uh, put this in and then we'll get on to the next one which is worm and fast and I was thinking that that would be like Hmm, these combinations are very, very unique. A fast worm. I just said that would have been a snake, but I don't think it would like, uh, I don't know, a fast worm. Let, let's give it a go anyway, so. Uh, where's the worms kept? Are they in insects? Yes, they are, so a fast worm. Uh, fast, 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 up there. That gave us a, what is that? Oh, a centipede. Different kinds of centipedes have from 30 to 400 and even more legs, a number that even varies with particular species. And I remember being told that the centi, well, centi tends to mean a hundred. So I remember being taught that all centipedes had a hundred legs, but no, that is not true. That is not true at all. Um, so let's scan that. Uh, what did we just scan? What was that? Was that the Black Widow? They gave us colorful and poisonous. But we'll scan the centipede, and centipedes, they're creepy as well. I don't like them. I don't... Mm, they're not my favourite thing. I haven't actually seen one in a while. Um, 
but I'm not complaining about that. Okay, and then the next one we've got is Beetle and Swimming. And I think that might give us like a pond skater or something. Yeah, let's find the beetle. And swimming. Where is swimming? Down the bottom here. Oh, that gave us a crab. Okay, crab's teeth are in their stomachs. And yes, that is true. I remember being taught that. Okay, so... We will take these jeans out. We got fast, and I think that was insect. So we'll put the crab in. That's only got one thing, so it'll only take 10 seconds to scan. Oh, I accidentally scanned the Black Widow instead. Uh, but we'll just quickly go ahead and we'll uh, make the crab and long tail. And I think that might give us a lobster. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that that's, that's correct. Oh, it gave us a crayfish. Okay, so crayfish have their eyes on pedestals, allowing them to move them and thus manage their vision. And that's a word that I've never heard before, pedestals. That is, that's cool. Okay, and we'll take uh, these things out and we will scan the crayfish. And once again, I find that word very difficult to pronounce and it always sounds like I have a lisp whenever I'm saying it. Crayfish. Fish. Ah. Okay, and then the next one we've got is spider and long tail. And I can't for the life of me figure out what this is going to um, produce. So a long tailed spider. Hmm. Oh, what about a scorpion? Of course. Uh, long tailed spider. It was. Well, that's a Scorpio. They missed out the N. When atomic weapons were tested in the Sahara, only scorpions survived nearby, having survived 134,000... How do I pronounce this word? Ronchgens? Ronchgens? I don't know. But that means they are very hardy creatures. Along with cockroaches, actually. So we'll scan those. And then we have a small crab. And a small crab. A small crab. I don't know. I don't know, but we'll give it a go. I can't think what that would produce. Oh, a shrimp. Okay. I wouldn't have thought that that would have been the case, but I guess so. The biggest shrimp in the world is considered to be the tiger shrimp. They can reach lengths of up to 36 centimeters and weigh up to 650 grams. Okie dokie. And then the last one, uh, we seem to have two slots missing, but on this list I have here, I only have one left. And that is a furry spider, and I'm positive that that is going to give us a tarantula. So, furry spider. And it was, tarantulas are not deadly for humans. And that is that. <laughs> Okie dokie. And, yeah, we do have one left. I'm thinking it might have something to do with like a small shrimp or oh what about a a mm, I don't know are crayfish and lobsters the same thing I don't think they are no they're not so let's try a big crayfish and that worked. I, uh, wow, wha okay. That was like a complete fluke. I don't understand how that happened. So lobsters grow very slowly and live for a long time. It takes them an average of 15 to 20 years to reach one kilogram. Okie dokie. And that is another one of the groups complete. And I'm going to just scan a couple of these things. I'm going to take these genes out. Uh, put the lobster and the tarantula in. And with that, I'm going to end this episode here. So I'm just going to quit back to the main menu, see the progress we have made. We are now on 74%, so that's an eight, we've done 8% progress. And yeah, so if you've got any more suggestions of what to do, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you everyone that has suggested the combination so far. I'm quite impressed that they all managed to work, except for the horse. We really need to find the horse. Oh my gosh, look, there's, there's a little ladybird. Can you see that trying to climb up the little, like the, the what is that called? The cylinder thing. Um, but yeah, so thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.